Hey what's up guys, it is Psycho or Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new commentary video where we're going to be talking about the most important thing in programming. Before we start guys, I would like to thank you all so much for all the support on my previous videos and on my channel in general. And also if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below to show some support on the video. Let us know in the comments if you have your own tips and tricks regarding programming, especially for people that are joining the community and programming in general. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to team for new videos like this one and let's get started with this video. As you might already know there are many different important factors in programming each one being a new subject or just a point that a lot of people do state out and one could be math one could be algorithm one another could be learning the API memorizing codes and etc but in my opinion one really sticks out a lot and that's a logic if you have logic in programming you're gonna be able to code a lot easier than most other people because a lot of people in the industry do not logically code they just go for copy pasting codes they go for you know googling all the codes which isn't wrong obviously you you're not supposed to memorize all the codes by yourself. I don't memorize all the codes by myself. I do look them up on Google as well, at least some of them. And memorizing does come by time, like you're gonna be able to memorize codes quite a bit after a while of programming. I was able to do it as well, but at the same time I can't memorize everything obviously. But logic doesn't come with time and that's my point here. And therefore logic is something that you actually show some effort into gaining. It's like a skill that you're supposed to acquire while programming so that it becomes even more correct. Speaking of which, I also want to get into why people miss logic quite a lot. From my own experience, a lot of people that are new to programming, especially nowadays, are very, very scared of programming. And this is mostly because these people do get quite lost in algorithms, math, libraries, learning APIs, and other kinds of requirements that follow within this list. Especially when you're new, obviously you're very, very raw in the industry, right? You're very raw in the market. You don't really know where you should take yourself and you don't know if you should Practice logic. How do you practice logic? If you should practice algorithms, how you learn algorithms, math, libraries, and everything else that follows within the list once again. And this is a normal thing. I don't believe at all that this is abnormal in any kind of way because there are just so many guys online that teaches you how to code. And there are so many YouTube videos that teaches you how to code as well, especially the amazing ones at youtube.com slash psycho TV if you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't heard it already, you know it's a no sell And when you have so many materials that are very new for you as well and you're not used to watching and you know obtaining information from obviously it's a little bit difficult to know which one you're supposed to trust and not only trust like this is not a trust issue it's more like which one you actually want to follow primarily when you're new but obviously the most important question for this video is how do you train logic for programming first and foremost by acting with common sense and encouraging yourself to take the risks what I mean by that is simply that you should use some common sense and know that you're there to learn programming and how to code and not just to copy pasta everything. If you're looking at a guide and following through it or you're watching a YouTube video from Psycho TV especially, it's not a problem, like at all, literally, it's a good thing. That's the way you learn and you get self-learn. But this should never ever be an excuse or an allowance for you to actually use copy pasting skills to learn programming because guess what? You're not gonna be able to learn programming by using them. If you're following a guide, if you're, if you're watching a YouTube tutorial video, it's okay, go ahead, but don't copy paste. Just follow the tutorial, follow exactly what the author is doing. And if you like, no, 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 like this time, this time series, guys, <laughs> if, you, if you're watching my videos, <laughs> you'll see that I always say, okay, I'm gonna copy paste this part, but I encourage you guys to write it down. And often, often I don't even copy paste. Even if I spend a little bit more time onto the code, I don't copy paste. And the reason is simple, guys. When you don't copy paste codes, you always run the risk of actually making a mistake when writing the code. And that results in you going back and checking your code and seeing why you made a mistake, what should have been done in there to skip the mistake, and to learn from your little small mistake that was literally fixed in a few seconds and by double checking the what the author of the video or the the guide actually wrote in that part and you already acted with common sense right and you were like okay so I'm trying to learn programming not just copy pasta everything you also encourage yourself to write something wrong or run the risk of making a small mistake that was literally fixed in a few seconds but taught you why 
everything didn't work the way you were planning to. And speaking of which, that's the most important part, literally. Asking yourself why it didn't work the way you wrote it, but it does work the way the author wrote it. And seeing that little mistake, seeing the little details and differences between your code compared to the author's code teaches you why it was actually a mistake. Speaking of which, the EIDE or the software you're coding in, the compiler you're using, is often going to tell you, hey, this is wrong because an explanation. And when you read that explanation, you're going to be like, okay, so I learned from my mistake here. And my mistake was the explanation. Like I used a, I don't know, a comma more than the other or more than required because it's not supposed to be used there. But not only it's not supposed to be used there, why is it not supposed to be used there? What happens if I use a comma there as well? What am I telling the computer when I'm coding and I put a comma extra? And when you start thinking this way, guys, it means that you're trying to learn programming logically. It doesn't necessarily make you a billionaire tomorrow or like a professional programmer right away like this fast, right? But it means that you're learning every single why behind every single statement that you put inside of your code. And that allows you to become a better programmer you're gonna be a good example for your companions your group members etc but also you're gonna feel like you're learning programming even better even faster even more efficiently than what you have been doing so far because simply you're gonna understand why stuff happened for example everyone here have been taking some kind of math course in their school years right it doesn't even matter if you've been a high school student a college student but if you've gone into algebra it was probably a little bit difficult from the beginning right because I remember my own times from school I was like, what is algebra? Like, what? why am I using these letters here? What, what's going on? And when I, like, I wasn't thinking logically at first, and I realized that a little bit late, sadly, <laughs> but I still did understand it a little bit further. But anyway, the most important part is, when I was into algebra, I wasn't thinking, why am I using this letter here? Why am I using this number here and not the letter? I was just being like, okay, uh, I guess I'm supposed to use it here because the teacher does that. And when I came at exams, I was like, uh, I'm not really sure how to do this, <laughs> which is a mistake because I wasn't thinking logically and which resulted in me not learning algebra logically, which means that I don't know why certain things happen. But when I started thinking like, all right, I'm clearly making a mistake because my grace doesn't look really good. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to try to learn this even more and try to be a little bit more logical because people didn't think that I, it was so difficult. And I was just being like, all right, what is algebra? And so I decided that I would think like, why am I using X here and not two? And that's exactly when I started learning algebra even more than I had so far. Like literally my eyes opened up, guys. And that's because I was starting to learn. I, I wasn't a professional at algebra. I'm still not a professional, but I started learning logic behind algebra. I knew then why I was supposed to use X instead of two or whatever kind of example you want to pull up. And that allowed me to think like, all right, so I'm using this equation to exchange fives to each other because I need this to happen. What's funny is that you're using the same kind of logical programming in your brain every single day. Like you look at, you look, you look outside your window when you're supposed to go to school, work or whatever, you're going to leave out with your friends and you realize it's raining and your brain automatically goes, is it raining? Yes. Then what am I supposed to do? I'm going to bring a umbrella with me. And why am I supposed to bring a umbrella with me and not a freaking chicken or some shit? And that's the exact mentality you're supposed to apply into your brain when you're coding. Don't try to act as if you're brain dead because I know you're not. You were not stupid enough to ignore programming. <laughs> you chose to learn programming. So you're smart enough. You know what I'm saying? And when you apply that kind of logic, you're going to be able to learn programming even more, even easier, because it's just going to feel so much easier for you when you know why you're supposed to use certain stuff rather than just guessing yourself forward. Speaking of which, like trying yourself forward or guessing yourself forward, it's not only a bad thing, right? It's just bad if you're trying to not use logic and copy paste everything until it works. But if you want to train your logic in coding, you can't just sit down and think and think and think. You must try 
summarize some of these statements that are that you've learned so far and understand the logic behind why you're supposed to use something in something specific in a scenario instead of using the opposite one because at some point you will understand that trying yourself forward and pushing yourself encouraging yourself to actually go further than what you think you can is the best way of learning as well and in conclusion guys before we end the video I want to go through two different examples one example being a example of a bad programmer the other one being an example of a good programmer who thinks logically let's start with the example of a bad programmer who uses no logic in his coding so his first and foremost copy pasting the codes by the way this is very sexist because I'm using his but hey this is my channel <laughs> I decide stuff here but first and foremost he uses copy pasting and not just learns the codes and he's too scared of taking the risks of diving into errors and finding out why they get thrown and that's mostly the reason why he's copy pasting his codes as well from the author or the guide he's following or youtube video or whatever and this guy also doesn't care about why stuff works the way they do work and he does not understand his own code when you ask him and they, when you look at the code it just looks like a copy paste right out of a script or a transcript or any other kind of tutorial you would like to find on Google. And last but not least, this guy is obviously now watching Psycho TV. You know what I'm talking about, fam. Hashtag notification squad. Now let's look at a perfect example of a good programmer like me. <laughs> nice joke, Psycho. Good programmer and your name in the same sentence. <laughs> Kill me. Hey, I'm at least trying, okay? I'm trying to be logical, all right? So stop. It's time to stop. I, I need to stop with the cringy memes. Sorry. So an example of a good programmer who's thinking logically, ironically enough, <laughs> we never heard that before in the video, right? Um, he's creating a system and he's trying to create a system by following a tutorial, which is completely fine. But he's trying to write his codes by himself and even though the author is like, yeah, you can copy paste this project file or whatever, he's trying to code it by himself so that he can memorize the code a little bit but also learn from his own mistakes. He's trying himself forward even though he knows that he's not in, like in the knowledge center of creating a system, he's not really good at programming yet, he still has the encouragement to push him forward and strive for more. He's learning from his mistakes, like I said, he's going back to the codes that he's writing by himself and being like, all right, so this is why I'm not using to use, I'm not supposed to use a comma here uh, instead of here. Like, this is why I'm getting this error. Neither is this guy scared of putting some risk in his way, like being like, all right, so the author is writing this, but what if I try my own statement here? Like I was practicing even before I got into this tutorial. And he also thinks why stuff worked the way they do work. And he's not only thinking that and is trying to show a will to actually do some research, but he's doing the research. He's going to Google. He's trying to get in contact with the author of the video or the guide or whatever kind of whatever kind of content he's following, right? And he's trying to learn. He's really showing the will and trying to put the effort to learn why stuff work the way they do work in that guide he's following and if it would work the way he would do it. And by using the previous point, being not scared of practicing and putting his risk putting some risks in the way. He's trying to learn if this stuff would work even with his own way. And by that, he's trying to learn if he can modify the code so that he can make it by himself as well. If he fails, he goes back to his mistake and tries to learn from it. He's trying to read the explanation in the IDE or the compiler or whatever he's using, the game engine perhaps. And if he becomes successful, he's just putting that into his trophy list and be like, all right, so I can use this. But why can I use it? I wasn't just trying to get my way out from this because I want to learn coding in a logical way. And last but not least, obviously, <laughs> you know already what I'm talking about. <laughs> but obviously, he's watching Psycho TV. Freaking applause on that shit. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I was having a lot of fun recording this. I was throwing in a little bit of cringy memes and I apologize if it became a bit too much. <laughs> but I was having some fun and I try and I try to encourage myself to have a little bit more fun and not be very ranty on, in these videos. And let me know, like if you have any feedback regarding my attitude or whatever it can be, like the video quality, the animations, whatever it can be, literally just let me know in the comments because I'm really, really open to feedback feedback because I want to learn to become a better content creator and not just because for, for the sake of that, 
and not only because I'm wondering why I should become one, but also because I want to give you guys the best quality ever. And with that being said, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and also hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon like this one, some other cool content like some tutorial videos, some level designs that are coming. I promise you guys. I've been promising you for like a few weeks now, but like they're, they're coming. Don't worry. And leave a comment, like I said, if you have any feedback, if you just want to say hi, if you want to comment the chicken meme, or if you simply have anything to add into this topic. Like, this is a open forum, this is a open thread. So let us know in the comments, help the newbies that are to our community, and the new people that are joining programming. I warm, warmly welcome you if you watched this video so far. I thank you so much for your time. And if you're new, let us know in the comments and if you have any questions regarding this, if you have any questions regarding something else, let me know, like I will be responding as much as I can. And for one last time, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the comments down below. See you guys, peace out, bye bye. But you gotta be there for me too.